Barrett. He's been transforming lives through tap dancing in Chicago for decades, giving students a creative escape from the inner city. Now the National Endowment for the Arts has honored him as a heritage fellow, one of just 10 in the country. And the dancer tells Jose Sanders about his mission with all the right moves. Left foot, here we go, first group. One, two, three, go second group. From the first time I put on tap shoes, I knew that I wanted to do it for the rest of my life. I didn't know what that meant or how it would unfold, but I knew I would be doing it for a long time. Brill Barrett has been tapping since he was four years old, growing up on the west side. His first stage, a CTA platform. On the train stop downtown, you on Monroe, rush hour, you got two minutes between trains. So in two minutes, you've got to put on the show and connect with folks so that they want to go in their pocket and give you money. Barrett has performed all around the world, but his true calling is sharing his art with all generations at this studio in Bronzeville. It started off as a thing, it was for me to expose young black boys to tap. And I know that because tap was introduced to my life, it gave me a way out, a lifeline, so to speak. That's why Brill formed Mad Rhythms. It stands for Making a Difference Dancing. It's been going strong for more than two decades, and it's one of the reasons he got the National Heritage Award. What does this recognition mean to you? Like all the work that I've done in the community and with TAP and, and, and the way I've helped to change and shape lives was why I was getting the recognition, so I, I receive it wholeheartedly. TAP was born out of oppression. TAP was born out of struggle. Why is it so important to know the history of TAP? I think if people knew what black people went through to make this art form possible, they would all have much more respect for the art form. I feel like I'm closest to God when I'm tap dancing. It's how I navigate emotional trauma. I used to think tap was my gift, and now I think tap is just a tool that the creator endued me with in order to make a difference in my community, but I think changing lives through tap is the gift. You can put a little bit of you in it. Jose Sanders, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Beautifully said and done. He makes yeah. it look so easy. Yeah. That's such a nice. gift. Uh, we got to get Jose some tap shoes. Mm -hmm. I bet he'd be pretty talented too. Uh, the National Honor comes with a cash award and recipients urge to use it to improve their own lives. Being an artist can be tough. And Brill says he will be paying some bills, but he also wants to spend the rest for Mad Rhythms and to better serve his students. Congratulations. Yeah, well deserved. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.